Mwambie asizae kama sijafika. So around September and Mayembe, I don't think Mayembe are always there in September. But I'm telling you, that man had to find Mayembe. I was just in so much, I'm telling you, every time I think about the labor pains, but then in a relax. If I want another child, that comes to my head. Ah, uh, pause. Nilitandikia watu vitanda, nilivunja curtain, I, I walked naked. I finally decided to remove my clothes. Me, I'm feeling too bad. No, I don't care. Hi, my name is Lilian Katule, and I'm a mother to a three-year-old toddler. And this is my burn in the oven story. I remember when uh, I got the news and I had tried actually doing the pregnancy test for nine times and my husband, it was in the morning around six, I had gone to, you know, Kawaida in the morning, most of us, you will want to like go and release yourself. So I decided, you know what, in, in the morning, I think like I need to, let's just try it one more time, it wouldn't hurt. So I went and when it turned positive, I can remember, I just shouted. I didn't even like get out of the toilet. I just shouted, you know what? It turned positive and he was asleep. But that guy, the way he jumped out of that bed, I'm telling you, he came and he was so happy. Like we just hugged and cried and we said finally, because trying nine times is not a joke because ours, we had really planned for it. It was not like that. Yeah, you do manenos and then something happens. You know, as we sat down, we had a discussion and we decided it's about time. So us seeing what we had planned for now come finally to be positive. We were so excited and just there and then we knew now the journey has finally started. So um, around like after three days, because you know, it's very crucial when you immediately know you're pregnant you now go and start taking now the medicines, the iron, the calcium. So after three days, we booked an appointment and we went to the clinic. For me, the excitement was more of, you know, I have a man here, he's accepted the baby. So him just taking me to clinic, you know, eh? everyone, the doctors are just saying, this is the planter. Like there's no question, hey, who's the father? So yeah, we went and we saw the nurse and he told us now the do's and don'ts, like, you know, you're not supposed to start overworking yourself. Uh, you're supposed now to watch your diet because now you're eating for two. So this baby needs calcium, this baby needs iron, they need protein, they need everything because now you're, it's like growing a seed. So now you're taking care of yourself for this child. So it was fun. It was a very, very new experience for me because someone just pressing your belly and then they are putting on that, um, what do you call it? an ultrasound. So you can hear the heartbeat of the child. It's, it's a very, very magical moment. So from there now we went home. We were told every month it's the clinic checkup. And missing it, missing it is like Unapigiwa kelele, by the way, these, these doctors don't joke. Like you miss and they're asking you, where were you? Mbona ukupiga useme, utaeza kukuja. So like you really have to maintain those dates. And even if you don't, at least uh, don't pass a week, you go. So we went back home and now it's planning what happens now. He's a child. Child is a very, very big investment, guys. Very big investment. We need clothes. We need to know now uh, the food I'm going to eat because now you're not just eating at ukipata banana pale unarusha. It's a daily routine. A fruit has to be there. A protein has to be there. So we sat down and uh, we did our maths and we saw this is the kind of lifestyle now we need to start. So here we are. We are young. First of all, we were very, very young. I was turning 26 and uh, my husband is the same age. So I was not having a job and uh, my husband was just like he had started his uh, job. But one thing that really put us together and really gave us the courage to move on was the fact that we had decided on this baby. So it was not a mistake.
So here we are. I'm pregnant. Uh, we, we found it, it turned positive when I was two months. So it's still, you're very active. One thing I was really scared was having the morning sickness. But since the first month there was nothing and I'm almost completing the second month, I was like, probably this is not for me. So true, actually, to the story, I didn't get it. So my first trimester, which is the first three months, was really nice. But I had cravings. And my cravings, I expected I would crave for, I don't know, chocolates, uh, maize, because I really like, like, my indichoma. And uh, what I did was mkate, and it had to be really soft. Kinletea mkate ngumu, my friend, that is, uh, my, my day is done. Like, I'm getting angry, I'm so pissed at you. So it had to be super loaf, and it had to be really soft, and then tea. And I'm telling you, I could eat a whole loaf of bread alone. Na lazima ipakwe blue band. And blue band has to be in excess. Ile like, wisha paka, all the sides, like this bread is covered. But you are redoing it ijai. So that, there's just that something that was so nice and so sweet about soft bread and tea. And I did it for around two months consistently. It had to be morning, evening, morning, evening, morning, evening. Another thing I really craved was maembe. And you see, uh, it was July. It uh, I was tested in July. So um, July, April, July, March, August, September. So around September and Mayembe, I don't think Mayembe are always there in September. But I'm telling you, that man had to find Mayembe. So good to the cause, he was traveling and he went to Subukia. I think Subukia is in Akuru. And he found Mayembe. I don't know how, but he found Mayembe. And those Mayembes, he brought back. And they were not ripe. Nizile maembe ngumu. They are just green. They are so curly inside. But those are the maembes I wanted. And he found them. I'm telling you, he found them. And he brought. And I ate maembe all the way to next year, which is January. Because again, I'm Kao. So as our season starts January, Feb, March. So the March, you'll find at least there's a lot. So I took maembes from August to the following year. Those were basically my my cravings. I really didn't overfeed. I didn't have uh, weird cravings. Like, I don't know, you're sending people in the middle of the night. So for me, my cravings were those two. But I had bad, bad mood swings. In the morning, I would wake up. I don't feel like talking to him. Nothing has really happened, but I'm just moody. I don't want to see him. There's a difference between like where you hate your husband. I didn't hate him. I just didn't want to see him. I felt like he's, my space is too squeezed. I need my space. I want you to sit over there when I'm seated here. Just give me my space. So, yeah. For me, I would say I'm one of those first time moms that my pregnancy story was very, very easy. Apart from the mood swing, which was bad. But he tolerated me. He was uh, very kind. So I think because we are human when someone is just too nice towards you despite you throwing all the shades and all bad vibe you kind of become softer when you realize this guy is just nice naturally he's not going to turn he's not going to start telling you i at a waste on over do we member yeah so you you, you kind of also now start controlling your moods and saying you know what let me be nice to him because this thing is going for nine months if you start your moods at month three month nine takuwa wapi uh, I was very active, very, very active. You could walk every day in the evening from, uh, he would come from work at six, he would walk six until 7.30. That's a, like a walk. In the morning, I would go when I wake up, um, 30 minutes. So I feel like me walking also made my moods because you know walking gives you that it opens your mind, it calms your stress. So I think also the walking really helped me deal with my emotions and moods and just accepting this. My mother, my mother would call me every day and ask me how are you feeling, like uh, what is happening. Then I would tell her and then she said, no, it's normal. These things happen, just calm down when this thing happens, just uh, do this, do that. Uh, another thing is friends. I had friends. I, 
in my circle of friends i was the first one to be pregnant so you know like everyone is just looking at you how does it feel how how is the baby how are you feeling what is the plan like you look nice so such things people just always checking up on you they're sending you buckets of chicken they are telling you please come i buy you froyo it was it was a very nice experience the, the kind of where you feel like you're pampered so it makes you feel like ah this thing is kawaida I'm, I'm not feeling alone it's not stressing me so the stress kind of reduces uh i did a lot of chores in the house i remember i forward and go until month seven niki inama na four kabisa then ikafika the seventh month when it was now ending i realized now i can no longer bend so i picked a stool and i decided you know what we are going to do this thing because i'm not ready to have a house help now what is she coming to do just to help me wash clothes so i did and um after that when now like it's a bit too hard because now you start getting back pains you're getting headaches you're too tired my husband got in so we thank god for men like that who they don't mind there's no gender duties and gender role that is i can't wash clothes so after i was done with the things that i cannot do he got in he could help and then for me things like more pushing the house with the more because i'm not bending i could do it so my journey was pretty cool it was fun it was easy but then <laughs> here comes now when time was here for the delivery so i was supposed to have my due date on 12th of april but you were told you add around a week but when that week is closed and the baby is still not coming then you book a date to go and get induced and i've heard the stories people saying induction is the worst thing a mother can ever go through so for me when it was date 13 it was date 14 and nothing was coming i was like no i can't do this now that those scary stories of now delivery it's here there's nothing you can do the baby is here the time is here so you still have to go so i called the nurse and um, i told her you know what the baby was supposed to come on 12th but we are uh, on 14th and so definitely i need to at least alert you so that you tell me what's the way forward and she was like you come uh on thursday it was, it was it was on monday you come on thursday if the baby doesn't come now we do the induction so i upped my game on walking me doing some motherly like friendly pregnancy kind of uh the slow squats and nothing nothing was really happening so that day actually after i talked to the nurse i got a call from uh, a client who wanted me to go and do uh, makeup i'm a makeup artist so um, i told my husband you know what this baby is not coming so what we can do is so that i feel safe you just take me to this job because again we need the money and then if anything happens at least you're close by we can you can always rush to the hospital so we went and uh, I remember this client was just like, oh my God, are you okay? Are you fine? So instead of me taking care of the client, she was the one who was more concerned about like, are you going to do this? We can still postpone. And I was like, no, I am already here and the baby is not coming. Please, let's just do it. So that day I was so tired and I could feel like my, my body really like expanding. So I knew, you know what? This is finally the day. So we went and slept. Kama kawaida. Around uh, 12, Musiko. I could feel like um, I feel like could diarrhea, you know, like th there's that mixture of diarrhea, and then if you're a lady, cramping. So I, I felt like ah, maybe this is just still a took away that the baby is preparing. So let me just let me just go to the loo. So I go to the loo. Hey, nothing is coming. I go back to sleep. I kept doing it for like five times. So I saw I'm going to disturb him because he's going to work tomorrow. This coming in, coming out is really a bother. Let me just go and sit on the couch. I watch a movie because I can't sleep. It's it's discomfort. So when it's it's not pain, it's discomfort. So I sat and then I was there watching the movie. Nothing is really happening. I feel like I need to go and release myself. So I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I'm finding a comfortable position. Nothing is happening. I decided, ah, ah, let me sleep on the carpet. Maybe this seat is not comfortable enough. Let me just sleep on the carpet. So when I was seated there, you know, you're feeling so much heat. But I decided, eh, ah, let's remove the clothes. Maybe something is happening. So I was naked and I was just seated on the carpet. So when I was seated, I felt like really, eh, I feel like I want to pee. It's so, it's, it's like it's so much pressure. So just when I felt like some water oozing. So me touching myself, I saw blood stains. 
and you know i was told well blood stains that's a bad thing so i woke up immediately i went and woke my husband like boy what does this mean is it the baby coming mama what is it so he told me you get ready we go to the hospital we called the hospital we told them please wait for us like something is happening and we don't know so I went, kidogo kidogo, I'm feeling like it's like magic to in a, in a, in a teremuka. Then I'm like, me, I feel like the baby is coming. And then there's no pain. So I was like, this is what you call labor. Mume ni kazi raisi tu hivu na feel tu ni kama unanyesha. So we got to the hospital. It was around 2.30, so we got to the hospital around 3. 3, we went to the reception. We were booked in, we were asked and what, 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 a lot of questions. Uh, we were taken to the, uh, to the wards. I was given change of outfit. I dressed, then the moment I got inside that hospital gown, it's like it was declared, like we are here. I'm telling you, it changed from zero to 100. The pain that was there, Yani, I cannot describe by the way, I cannot describe, but I felt like I felt like it's too hot. I didn't even have my, my hair by the way, I had just had braids, but I felt like I still need that hair to be removed. I want like my scalp. I felt that kanguo was very light, but I felt no, I need to be naked. I felt all my, my body parts, I wanted them to be removed. At least I remain like a mannequin, something because everything was uncomfortable. And then I realized like we are here and we have to do it. So one one thing on your side is like, you know what? You have to do it because this baby needs to come out. The other thing is, oh my God, like I cannot do this. It's painful. I'm tired. I just want to quit. And you cannot cry. But deep down, Aki, you're shedding a lot of tears. Like I was crying, but nothing is coming out of my eyes. My husband touches me. I'm like, no, Naskia Ukomzito, you're putting a lot of weight on me. He's trying to massage me. I'm like, no, it's too painful. So it was around uh, that time now, it's around four. And then he was supposed to go to work. He wasn't prepared for all this. So he decided, uh, he, first of all, he called my mom in law. My mom in law is in Nax. So her, she's like, Mwambia Sizae Kama Sijafika. So who holds labor pains? Surely. And I'm telling you, Walitoka 4 30. And they came. So then they are on their way, they are coming. My husband has to go back home, uh, prepare to go to work and fill, I don't know, whatever forms they're supposed to fill at ECG now. He has to go to paternity. So me, I was left. The good thing, in that labor, there was no one else. In that labor, there was no one else. But I remember there were four beds. Nilitandika hizo vitanda zote. Nikatwanisha everything. There were curtains, I could pull them down. I was just in so much, I'm telling you, every time I think about the labor pains, but then in a relax. If I want another child, that comes to my head. Ah, pause, 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 pause. Because labor pains are no joke. I don't know if there's anyone who has had labor pains and they were like, ah, but then I feel like uh, maybe siu chungu, it's bearable. For me, if there was a part of giving birth I would ever like skip, it was the labor pains. They were so painful. And I'm telling you, they are so vivid in my head. I feel them. They are giving me shivers. It's, it's bad. But I did drama. I did drama. I walked naked. I finally decided to remove my clothes. Me, I'm feeling too bad. No, I don't care. I t my husband was telling me I was black. My skin turned black. So every time, I don't know if this is too vulgar, but in hospital, when they are trying to measure if, because you need to expand until 10 centimeters for a woman for you to be able to push. So every time, uh, roughly maybe one hour, two hours, you have to get tested. And the testing is Vidole. And that process is, it's uncomfortable. It's unheard of. I don't know why we are in 21st century and no one has ever come up with equipment of pimaing this thing, but Vidole unaingizwa. And, you, and it has to be wingizwe when you are in labor. You know, in labor, kuna time unapewa kama aka break. It can be a five seconds break. Some get it for longer. So you can't be pimwad when you are in that ka break. Lazima ukwe in pain because now the walls are expanding. Ndiyo aize kujua. Imi nilikuwa na pimwa. Na ambi you say like, honestly, like, why, why do you want to kill me? Why, why do you want to kill me? Then she's telling me, you know, you can't push if I don't know how far you are. I labored from... 4 a.m., 9.30, I was ready to go. 
but for me i felt like i've been there for three years and for the doctor she was telling me you are among the first time moms who have really like really labored for the shortest time because someone like my mom she told me she used to labor for three days like who, who, who would handle for three days some have had they would labor even for a week and me i labored for less than five hours and really for me it was three hours of torture even after laboring for all that long nikafika eight centimeters nikakwamia hapo so akaniambia the baby is starting to get less stressed so the baby needs to come out what you can do now is the induction the induction that i was always afraid of induction ni uneko tu madawa drip first of all me i don't like i feel like it's the most this part is so sensitive you looking at your vein is kuna dhidhi tu so it's work a drip and then that dawa like wax wonders so that nurse has come asha ni funga asha ni dunga so anangojia kuleta that water drip akuingize by the time she was coming with it on my way nilimwambia by the way nasikia kupupu like she was coming now nisha dungwa hapa but now she's coming with now that nikamwambia i feel like pupu she told me the baby is here we went nasa tukapeleka now in the world for me that part was easy it was easy i don't remember exactly what happened but i remember i didn't shout because she told me when you shout you use a lot of energy so you cannot really push and the strongest push the fastest the baby comes so me in my head i was i've already been told the baby is she, she's getting tired so in my head I, i want my baby okay i want my baby okay so i i didn't scream i didn't shout but i pushed and it was less than 10 minutes it was less than 10 minutes finally because my husband was there we had a cry it was a baby girl oh my god i it was a baby girl like just showing your nine months did not come to pass and you know um w- w- when you get pregnant and when you get out of the labor ward that process is when you realize giving birth is a matter of life and death For me you're just looking ah she looks so nice with a bump baka you want to shika shika and then they go they push your call hi the baby is here uh-uh. you get to those shoes and then you learn people get pregnant nine months they go push the baby dies right the mother dies right so when i got to the labor ward and i saw no no my tongs my visu manini damu you're like oh my god i'm okay my baby is okay first of all the baby is okay meaning all the body parts all the senses are fine that is the best gift for any parent especially a mother that can happen there my husband is dressing the child together with the doctor akimimi i'm just so excited yani by the way another thing these pains that you normally have you push the child akunanga aftermath the pain is gone you wonder what kind of pain is this even ukijifinya finya hivi there is no pain in fact you feel so refreshed you feel so new the only thing is unatetemeka kama siju uko north pole baridi you're feeling cold it's like any yani, the jotter that was in you it had like it has come out to the child so that was the only effect i was feeling the cold but i couldn't even think about it i was so overjoyed so my husband is dressing the child then some other doctor do from outside miss jewel kwa nakuja kufanya nini he comes in eh no okay so this is the new one oh she's so pretty and then kidogo kidogo lakini hizo miguu zinakaa funny he comes anashika shika ah I feel like this leg this leg is not okay. I'm not even finished 10 minutes. I'm so overjoyed. Somebody from outside who's not even dealing with me comes in and starts saying my baby can have a leg problem. Ah that took me. And I'm like okay. This baby is not even 2 hours old. Probably maybe 2 even yalikuwa amekunjwa. 
in the body can you at least give us time to give us this news again why is it coming from a stranger please let the doctor who is dressing my child together with my husband give me the news so tukatoka akasema you can book the pediatrician tomorrow who will come and this bone doctor i don't know they are called whatever obo whatever hizo mavitu mingi za pediatrician whatever he said they will be coming in the afternoon since you're going to be in the hospital we'll come and see how the baby looks so nikatoka tu nikaenda you know now you have a mix of sadness worry and still joy but you're hopeful that the baby is young and they always wanna kanga kama wamejikunja so probably because of that something will come up nicely so mimi nimeenda my mom in law came shafika she's there kama kawaida mothers na uji eh hey, you know na jua unasikia batiti si unasikia batiti so i'm like when you do you know this thing I'm like, mother I'm like i can't scare batiti by the way i'm so hungry i'm worried about kama breast milk itatoka because most mothers never have milk when you straight from the labor so i'm like nikafinya finya i'm like kaki there is no milk so the nurse came kama akafinya finya Hai, hii maziwa ni mingi sana. This baby only needs a drop of milk. I'm like, "Hiya. So I'm ready to be milked. I'm fine." So that day was good. Usiku. Me, that this was first first time that nimelala kwa hospitali. So first of all, it's different environment. You're just feeling like you need to be home. You need to be relaxed. You're tired. What will happen? What happens? You're a new mother, you're alone. So what happens? from here on when the baby cries when the baby is suffocating when the baby is maybe choking who will help you because there was a cabel there mtoto wangu tu akifanya ding 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 why nas 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 and he's like what's the problem ati i don't know maybe i'm a cough okay like what she's a human being she will cough then nilikuwa because i've seen my my mom with my younger brother who make up total blanket of a blanket of a blanket so the baby kept crying at some point usiku so ata silali the nurse came what's happening why is this baby crying i'm like miss juu uko na maziwa niko like yeah amenyonya akaangalia mtu wewe this baby umemfunika sana where did you where did you hear this i'm like but i'm the i'm just a first time mom how am i supposed to know this plus i'm 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 using my memory what i've seen is what i'm applying she's like no a baby is just like you if you feel cold and you're wearing a sweater then the baby you add one more layer kama umetoa sweater uko na top then the baby anabaki na sweater ka light so at least now i started feeling like okay okay so this is what i need to do that night was the longest so because i was waiting for the doctor the next day kafika asubuhi the doctor came checked the baby and said you know what this baby imugu imejikunja so what i'll do i'll refer you to kiambu because they have the best bone doctors So ata ndio na discharge hiyo siku. I go home. I fix a home. My husband and my mom in law had slept the previous day. Mimi I'm a clean freak. Nimepata jikoni sijui inakaa aje. Mimi nishaingia na maopi yangu, nishaanza kusafisha nyumba yangu. My mom in law is like, "What are you doing? Sit down, relax." I'm like, "No. Mlikuja mmevuruga nyumba. Mimi I cannot stay in a house like this." Nisha as in I was so energetic. You, you could not even tell I was pregnant. And that is because I I I, I delivered like normally. And uh, that is something else. Like It's not a must for you to deliver normal but if you can you bounce back so fast. Yeah, I was washing my house the next day. Like I'm two uh, 24 hours. The next time I'm, I'm washing my house and I felt so okay. So tukaka hiyo usiku ikaisha. The next day was on a Friday. Sisi ndo hao makakiambo. We went so a doctor. Doctor akatwambia whether this leg is not okay. What was that name of that disease wali muita clump foot I don't know whether you've heard about clump foot ili at the leg if this is how the leg should be the leg is kind of bent density is different unapata kuna wengine imeturn kabisa kuna wengine iko hivi kuna wengine so ours we were told is mild but akona hiyo clump foot but it can be repaired especially when they are young so this is a two week in fact not two week two days old baby 
tunaambiwa anafungwa cast kwa mguu. Mtoto wangu akachukuliwa akawekwa cast. Cast first of all iko na joto mbaya on the inside. This is a baby amefungwa cast. That baby cried and the procedure took almost 30 minutes. She cried from the beginning of it to the end because again si kufungwa tu ni mguu the foot is supposed to be like this it's being twisted if it was from here ikae hivi so first of all there is pressure inserted on a 2 day old yani mimi i cried every time as in every time because i'm the one who is holding the baby because the baby has to sit straight so hata hakuna kunyonyesha atile una calm mtoto the baby has to sit facing the doctor so that the leg is nini that baby cried i cried so hard until my husband just had to come in because now i'm wondering i was so overjoyed that my baby is fine just for me to be told she might not be okay but then deep down i had to be strong because again this is my child and if it's a procedure that i have to go even if it's for years for just her to be okay i had to be ready mentally so akafungwa na akafungwa tukarudi home we were told after a week we come back iangaliwe kama imetan if it's not tunafungwa so we went home tumeka mtoto usiku alali because i've told you that thing iko na joto it's uncomfortable mimi i'm just there yani it's so uncomfortable it's so tiring because baby is always crying hakuna kulala a week ended with god's grace tukarudi in my head i'm so excited you know what this thing was not serious i cast it atolewa leo tumeenda tumeambiwa bado ni kama si jui mguu ilifanya nini in between the first cast so it needs to be retired kafungwa tena kama kawaida crying we went back home so my mom in law is asking me me i don't feel like im mguu iko na shida nimeangalia other people have looked at it apart from the doctors and i don't see like there's a problem me feel like just because the baby ali stay sana kwa tumbo ndio maana iko hivyo so we decided because kijabe kijabe normally has very good um doctors especially on the clump foot and the special needs kind of kids we decided let's go there and get a second opinion because we have had an opinion from the first hospital we have had an opinion from now kiambu and then now we are going to have another opinion so that to one how serious this is so we went going there we saw there, there was a mzungu doctor so the mzungu looked at us na akatwambia us we don't see the problem with this baby but we can try and do just a procedure which is going to take like a week after a week you can come back and then from there we can be able to tell because even the baby is growing so as they are growing the body is developing some changes so the doctor also tied her the cast na akava na tukaenda so when we were at home it's like ni kama venye mtoto anachezanga kurusharusha mguu it's like the cast ikaanza kusonga so because this is where the uncle is the foot is supposed to be straight ilifungwa hivi round so vinye inasonga ikasonga now the foot is like this so now the baby is in pain around here because the foot iko flat it's always like this so the baby is crying tunashangaa what is the baby crying so my sister in london aliangalia akaona wewe hii kitu imesonga hebu let's see kuchungulia hakika mguu kama finyo huko ndani and casting you you have to pour water ungoipe time mwanze kutoa hizo vitu so us we tried to pull pull akoka cast tunaona ina songa songa ina songa songa eventually yungui katoka we tried opening because it was both legs so moja tukafungua ikatoka ingine ikakata so we were trying to pull 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 tukai pull the next day we were back tukamwambia hii kitu ilitoka the baby has been crying please now just tell us what are we going to do kwanza hapo kijabe unapewa ngwa a flyer imeandikwa you will do this procedure until the baby is 5 years mtoto atavaa hiyo kitu it's like a chuma anafungwa na chuma sasa wacha ana cast anafungwa akipatikana na hiyo clam foot anafungwa na chuma kwa mguu anavaa day and night then after five years ataanza kuivaa night time peke yake so mimi i was thinking five years coming to kijabe every month mtoto wangu akona chuma day and night hiyo story ni naisha so when my husband was um back at work ali, ali, w- they, uh, he met somebody who is a doctor in Kijabe so he had taken his contact akimwambia you know what my baby aliambiwa kona hii kona hii kona hii so i would like when next time i'm there umwangalie so this doctor 
hiyo siku tuku, my husband akakumbuka akampigia eh hey, by the way niko hapa are you here he said ah, yeah, i am here hata where are you akakuja akatuchukua aki he looked at the baby just like this huyo mtoto wenu hana shida so me in my instead of me even being happy aki nikakumbuka all the tears all everything that i was going through mtoto wangu amefungwa vitu anaumia just for someone to come and tell me my baby does not have a problem so this doctor told us there's no problem with this baby but if you really want to be sure keep coming after every three months you come once you come twice and after that we will see so we did that for three months we went back katambi imagine this baby because first of all right now the baby is three months there's no problem this baby is growing now when baby start walking and standing on their own the foot is nanza kukanyaga chini the next three months we came back akatwambia i don't want to see you guys back here this baby is totally fine unless you have a concern but this baby this leg iko to sour and i felt like after six months is when i really started sasa being a mother because my head was now really concerned and i was there for the child and i knew everything is fine saito ni mabaki tu kulea tu mtoto like i have no worry about my baby will eventually look like this my baby will always go through problems like this so finally i now started enjoying motherhood and uh, yeah it's been a very very happy and um, difficult challenging journey but i think being a mother is the most rewarding job because you get to see that little one grow and start saying things and start asking you stuff and they pick after you and it's it's the best feeling for a mother to see their child are okay those milestones you see they were told she will never run now she's running she's walking she can talk fluently and yeah i'm happy i'm very very happy to be her mother so uh this is what i would tell anyone who is planning to be a mom or is pregnant already and going to be a first time mom if you have an option of going the normal way and see us please choose the normal way and this is why i have friends now who are mothers and they have gone through cs and me i can relate with the normal so the difference is you bounce back very fast if you have gone through the normal the other thing is you don't depend on anyone if you went home and you found yourself with your child trust you me you can perform 80% of the chores the cs mom even that first day the person who was my neighbor by the way on on, on the labor on the on the ward now had cs and i'm telling you it took the nurse to come and change the child this is your baby you're sleeping with them on the bed but a nurse has to come you sit in a position which is first of all is not even comfortable because you have to sit nicely lakini unavumilia and you feed the child for me tulikuwa tunalala tuna all the styles we could do it and i'm telling you even the recovery time we are normally told after six weeks you are now fully fully recovered for person who went normal for cs i don't know i don't know but i i i, I can bet it's longer than six weeks and sometimes you heal inside and the outside so you can heal on the outside for the cs person the inside is still not so you cannot just wake up and you're bending and you're washing clothes you might have been healed here so you have to also take things slow and um the myths and misconceptions of cg you know cs nothing your pussy is not being affected please god knew when he said the baby to come out through there he knew this thing has the ability to expand and contract so please do your research it's good to hear all those opinions but do your research get to understand your body so that you can hear if is it true you can get facts from just fiction so for me uh <laughs> if my husband was here you would ask him this uh, is you know me panuka oh my husband will now, will now cheat please it's a lie it's to, it's a total lie and i can tell you i'm not hiding I'm not at the CG here to endorse uh, de- normal delivery moms no please nothing will happen to your pussy if you deliver normal when you get pregnant get ready for all the opinions groups on social media I'm telling you I had gotten into many of them then someone come you ask a question or someone ask a question that you can relate eh hey, the opinions maka you're like why so my advice 
first best advice if you have a mother of course she should be your best friend she can relate her times might be different but she has something in there that can help you so ask her first number two if you have a friend who's a mother ask her number three a professional before now going to social media because social media has all know it alls they will come and tell you this do that do this we oh, never do this and this is just an opinion of one person right so yeye alipitia hi mwingine akapitia just the same thing but they had a total different experience so ask your mom then ask your fellow mom friend then go to a professional before google and social media and it kind of it, it will create some stigma for you to go all this opinion all this opinion all this opinion so also learn to kind of give yourself a comfort zone you can't go watching am listening to stories of delivery you know command one utakuwa scared you will hate that journey do your research for you to prepare your mind that this is what happens during the, the delivery and this is what should happen at, uh, inside the labor ward and all that stuff but don't go now you're watching there youtube unakaanga tumba ka saa saba unaangalia i'm telling you you will get traumatized it will be so hard for you uta feel like oh my god i'm not ready for this but there's nothing you can do because you already have the child so give yourself those good experience good moments ask your friend because even your friend atafi atajua like it's scary but then they will try and tell you by the it's scary but imagine me niko hapa i did it unaelewa ule mwingine he siwezi rudi huko number two, never you get so pole pole choose what what is yours and leave the rest and um like for example when i my, i was told like my baby has clam foot tungekuwa imagine tunarudi ngi tukingoja 5 years to funga ngo hiyo kitu nimevalisha mtoto wangu sijui chuma the baby is uncomfortable i'm stressed out but i decided let me seek another opinion so that i get 100% sure opinion from my parents opinion from my friends opinion from now professionals because no one in my circle saw that problem at all na si ati wati walikuwa they have to say positive things for ati for it to appear so they could look at the foot turn it like experiment that child okay like imagine mimi sioni mpaka wengine wana relate imagine hata mtoto wangu alikuwa mgui na kaa hivi lakini ikatan So I decided to like seek another opinion after Kiambu I, even after Kijabe if they would have told me my baby asiju yako nayo ningetafuta ingine na ingine na ingine until I come and narrow down wenye amesema yes wenye amesema no then now I see by the way now this is my way to go so never settle and never just decide nimeambiwa hapa ni hivi let's go because how many misdiagnoses have we seen it will save you cost it will save you resources it will save you like peace of mind and a lot a lot a lot of things so always seek a second and a third and a fourth opinion until you feel you're okay so that was my ban in the oven story i really enjoyed i hope you also enjoyed it's a wonderful journey but brace yourself for every challenge that comes Music